all my traders a very warm welcome to you all so today we'll be doing a segment on trading view this is i think by far one of the most popular charting platforms in the world um today my goal is to get you started with trading view we'll start from the basic concepts that are available on trading view and then we'll go into the more advanced concepts so today we'll do entire tutorial and we'll move on to the tips and tricks and hacks that are on trading view this is actually a much requested video by all of you because a lot of people that are watching our videos are starting out to trade or also a couple of you are established traders and there are so many tools on trading view that you are not familiar with so our goal today is to explain those tools explain those hacks so we can more you know execute those trades and analyze those charts more efficiently because that's what we're looking for when we're analyzing and making trades we want convenience and that's what this software offers so if you're starting out to trade you know choosing what platform you want to trade is fully uh, up to your choice but i think trading view is very comfortable but i think if you're doing forex maybe you want to use mt4 or mt5 totally depends upon you but i think trading view or investing.com both are free softwares to start with and they can give you good uh, juice that you're looking for so without further ado let's get started make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel so that you can be alerted whenever we come out with a new video so today what we'll do is we'll start off with the top bar of and explain each and every one of those concepts we'll go down to the side bar explain those concepts and then we'll discuss about some tips and tricks on trading view so let me start with uh, the layout so a lot of people you know have been asking me how do i get this dark layout on the screen because if you are logging into trading view for the first time you'll probably have a white and light uh, layout so what i have done is i click on this you know horizontal lines three horizontal lines and i have you know switched on my dark color theme if you don't find this comfortable you can just you know click on this option and you can just confirm and you will be back to the original settings this is totally up to you i have done some changes in my appearance which i'll tell you how i've done them but this is something a lot of people don't know how to navigate on so just click on the dark color theme if you want that back on and you can come to that uh, settings again right so coming back to a couple more different settings let's move on if i want to change the 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 stock or whatever assets i'm trading in you can go on this search bar and you can click on the charts for example of nifty bank and the charts of nifty bank will pop up that's a basic let's move on to the time frame option uh this is something uh, i really love what i've done here so when you start trading you probably this is not going to show you know what i'm trying to say is you the time frames will not be shown on this pane this is something i also didn't know but a lot of students have actually taught me what you can do is you know when you start trading you have to click on this option and search whatever time frame that you want but now what you can do is you can click on this favorite button and when you click on these favorite buttons whatever time frames that you're adding to favorites will be popping up on that up panel which really helps you to you know increase the pace of your analysis so i personally like a 5 minute time frame 15 minute time frame and you can see whenever i click on the favorites they will be added to the above panel i like the 1 hour the 4 hour the 1 day and the 1 week time frames so all these time frames as i have made them a favorite they will be added to the top bar uh, this is again a lovely way of uh, putting out things so it's very very convenient for me i can just click on these options and change my time frame analysis and the next option out there is candles you can change the layout of the charts whether you want to analyze candles or you want to go over the traditional american bars probably i don't think to use that anymore you do i think for forex it's pretty common you can also go for renkos or three line breaks or your heikenashi which are very common so depending on whatever uh, you know chart you want to look at you can change the option from this uh, button right here the next button is for your comparing and adding a symbol this is also very useful if you want to compare two stocks in the same sector 
or whatever you are comparing. So for example, I have Nifty Bank and I want to compare this with Nifty. So I click on the daily chart. I want to see how both of Nifty and Nifty Bank have performed over the COVID-19 crash. So instead of looking at two charts on a different uh, screen, what I can do is click on the compare option and you can just compare, uh, you know, whatever charts that you want, add symbol uh, Nifty. This will help me. Uh, so when I add Nifty, you can see the blue line, the line chart is uh, denoted by Nifty. So you can see now that Nifty has really retraced back to the 70% of this fall, but Nifty Bank has still been outperforming. This is something so for your comparative quantitative analysis that you can do. Something I really don't uh, do a lot, but it totally depends upon trader to trader. Right, that's the compare and add symbol option. If you want to add indicators and strategies to your charts, number one, there are a lot of predefined uh, strategies out there which I will be discussing in another segment on another video. But this is this is for you if you want to put out some indicators. So for example, you want to put you want to start looking at the RSI. You search the RSI on the FX option, click on the RSI button and the RSI of Nifty Bank on the one day time frame will be popping up. And that's what RSI, that's what the indicator tabs tell you. You can add unlimited number of indicators. By the way, I'm using the Pro Plus version of TradingView. I think that's comfortable for me. That's, at, uh, if I'm not wrong, that's about $30 per month. But you can start out with the free version. There are some limitations, but not a lot. So I think in the free version, you can add only three indicators, but in the Pro Plus, you can add uh, much more indicators. I, I don't know what's the actual limit. So I can add, let's say, Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, whatever I want, and the indicator will be popping up on the screen. So that's what we do with the FX option. The fundamental metrics option is something not I use a lot, but uh, you can click on that. So if you don't understand what each, each one of them is, you can just click on them and see what they're doing individually, and uh, it, it's going to show up. So the fundamental metric option, I'll just give you a brief. So if I click on the net, income quarterly so this will be plotting the net income uh, let's say i click on the hdfc chart so this will tell me on every quarter what's the net income uh, uh net income of hdfc every quarter been like so something out there something i don't really use a lot but totally depends upon you as i said then uh, we come to the create alert option this is something i really really enjoy doing and something i've been using a lot and it's one of the most uh, underused uh, uh, an underused uh, part of trading view in my opinion so let's say i look at the charts of rallies india i've been analyzing this for a while now i go on the 1 hour time frame so if you are uh, i go on the 1 4 hour time frame so if you are a technical analyst you can see uh, you know somewhat of a double top has been forming on rallies so now the thing is i have so many charts that i'm stocks that i'm looking at and i can't focus on rallies and maybe i miss this shorting opportunity that i'm seeing on the double top being formed on rallies what i can do is i can just click on the create alert i'll i'll make my you know my levels so i know very well that when this level is going to be breached maybe a 286 level we will get a big fall in rallies india so what I'll do is I'll click on the create alert section and we have Rallis India already selected and you can just select value 286. So what this will do is that whenever I am crossing, so you can select whatever metric that you're looking for. You want a crossing, you know, entering channel less than whatever you want. You are crossing down, moving down. So it's totally up to you. So what this will do is whenever Rallis will go below 286, I will be getting an alert. And this I feel is really helpful for me because I'm looking at so many charts, I'm handling so many clients. I do forget a lot of, uh, you know, opportunities. I miss a lot of opportunities that are happening out there. So you can select whether you want it to be once or every time that it happens. At the same time, these, uh, you know, the alerts have an expiration date. So I have selected a one month expiration date. So if in the next one month, I'm going to go below 286, I will be getting an alert. You can do open-ended, but I think that's only available with the, the, the highest package that's available in TradingView. But I'm not looking for an open-ended alert, uh, basically. 
so what alerts that you want you can show a pop up on the trading view chart also you can have a send email option so whenever the alert is hit you will get an email on the registered id on tradingview.com and you can select whatever message that you want to be shown when this alert has happened so a great you know something very very useful if you want to keep a track of all the alerts what alerts you have set you can just click on this option of alerts and what this will do is all the alerts that you have set will be popping out so that's a very useful option again that you can use on tradingview.com the next option that again is very very useful for people out there is this bar replay the candle replay option this is something for people who are starting out trading or people who want to test out their strategies you know they want to back test them so i'll show you what this means something again a very underused uh, uh, underused uh, part of trading view so you click on bar replay what happens is i'll give you a background what happens is that when we back test strategies we can always see what's happening out there right if i if i say uh, let me give you a little bit example so if i say this like a a triangular type of formation i i am very i can plot that because i know that it is breaking out so it becomes easier for me instead what you can do is you can click on the bar replay option and this uh, meter is going to open up what you can do is you can select where do you want to jump to so i want to jump to for example this place right here so when i click on this area all the other candles up after that are going to vanish so you can see now the last candlestick that is on the screen is the 11th may and currently we are on i think 7th 17th august so all the candles after that have vanished because i've jumped to that candle so if you want to go a little bit back you can just again click on jump to and you know select this option and you can again go back so what this allows you to do is you can click on the play option and all the candles will start opening depending upon the time that you have set so i have currently set one update every one second if you think that's too fast for you you can click on one update every 2 seconds so now the candle will change every candle will change only after 2 seconds if you want to go more slow you can go one update every 5 seconds so with this a new candle will pop up on the screen after every 5 seconds so this is something that is very very useful for you and you can again just close that and go back to the current time that's happening so you can i i'll suggest to use this if you are starting out to trade or if you are back testing your strategies that you have learned in maybe from my videos or maybe from mentors that you have looked after so that's the bar replay option and after this this is my personal favorite selecting layout multiple time frame analysis my personal favorite you have seen me do multiple time frame analysis in a couple of videos and a lot of you have left a lot of comments that how do i open this section how do i operate this section and to be honest there's so much to it that we are actually not aware of so let me give you a background so selecting layout if i click on this screen it's going to open one chart only i think this is a limited to uh, the trading view pro plus uh, section but if you want to use this for free you can go on to investing.com they are offering this for free so you can check that out so if i want to look at two charts on a screen at the same time if i don't have 10 screens in my house i can just click on this option of the the layout and i'll get two screens at the same two charts on the same screen at the same time so now let me just spend some time on this because this is one of the most important tools out there you have to be able to be you have to be able to analyze multiple time frames or multiple charts at the same time you have to get used to that so let me explain firstly you can do whatever layout that you want you can go on the four four chart layout this will open four charts at any particular point of time if for example i am more concerned about this chart right here i can just click on this chart you can see this chart is selected and then you can click on maximize screen and only this chart will be opening up so that is something that you can do if i want if i want to look at state bank of india only you click on the chart of state bank of india maximize the screen and the chart of state bank of india only will be opening up so that's how you can maximize the charts within the same screen number 1 number 2 what what is actually more uh, 
you know fantasizing about this is that let's let's go on the the double pane for now to start with there's a lot of options called syncing on all charts this is the most important one firstly you can click on the option of syncing symbol so what this will do is this will sync the same symbol on both the charts so if i click on sync symbol you can see the realis india charts changes to manapuram finance so now when i click on reliance india chart the both the panes will be showing reliance india chart industries chart because the symbol has been synced this is very useful when i want to do multiple time frame so what i can do is i can click on the above screen and instead of one way is to if you want to change the time frame click on the option one hour and the time frame will change the other option is if you want to be more jazzy about it if you don't want to click on these things just type it type the number on the screen so i'll click on the bottom screen i'll type 15 and you can see the 15 minute chart will open up click enter and the chart will change so the the use of syncing your symbols is that if you for example i click on navin florine uh, the chemical fertilizer company now what happens is the one hour chart is going to be on the top 15 minute on the bottom so i can analyze different time frame on the same screen so this is what happens with the uh, syncing symbol what you can also do is you can sync the crosshair crosshair is nothing but that uh, this uh, the the cursor that you can see on the screen this is again very useful for you to see where you are uh, i'll give you a background of what this is crosshair basically means so if i'm on this you can see on the 17th of august on the chart below so this will tell me exactly where i am on the one hour chart so this also i feel is really important because you want to see where you are on the longer time period as well because that's what actually matters so if i click on you know this if i go at this area on the 13th august so this will tell me that i am around here on the the lower time frame so that is what is syncing crosshair um, that what it means at the same time what you can do is you can also sync interval this is also very useful syncing interval means that whatever chart is selected all the the time frame basically will be synced so if i go on a four chart layout right so i can open four different companies so I, let's say i click on this chart click on bank nifty the charts of bank nifty will open up i click on the lower chart i select dabur the chart of dabur will open up i click on this chart click on bajaj finserv sorry bajaj finance so you can see all four different charts have opened up now when i when i click on if i click on sync symbol all these charts will show me bajaj finance symbol if i click on crosshair you can get this uh, cursor on all the charts and if i click on interval what will happen is all the charts now will be showing me one hour time frame now if i want to look at some other time frame so i click on the bajaj finance charts i click on 15 minute time frame click enter and you can see all the charts will show me 15 minute time frame please remember i, have, I haven't synced the symbol so i have only synced the time frame and finally what i find very useful is the drawing drawing setup so you can just uh, click on the drawing symbol i'll sync symbol right now and i'll sync my drawing uh, right now so what this will do is let me go on a two layout time frame uh, sorry two screen layout uh charts of bajaj finance as you can see what i am doing now is syncing drawing what it will do let's go on the chart of nifty i have already couple of drawings saved so i'm not going to mess with that so if i make a drawing on the 15 minute time frame let me change the time frame first i'll go on the 1 hour time frame so the above chart is showing me the 1 hour chart the below chart is 15 minute so if i i have right now synced my drawings so what will happen is if i make a drawing on the 1 hour chart it will be shown on the 15 minute chart as well so if i make this drawing it will be shown as you can see on the 15 minute chart so this is very useful because when we draw our one hour you know support resistance area of values it will be popping up on the 15 minute chart also so basically this is what the multiple time frame analysis settings are like you can see what you are comfortable with what you want to sync what you don't want to sync it totally depends on what you are looking for so i'll go back to the single pane layout um so that's that's about it so the next option is yeah this is again a very important again not used a lot let me explain what this is the personal layout so as you can see on the chart i have done this uh, the settings 
and I, I have named this layout my uh, I call this my personal layout right but maybe I want to use a different layout for some other time frame some other chart whatever you're looking for maybe I want to record some YouTube videos in a different layout what you can do is you can click on this option right here and you can make a new chart layout so when you click on a new chart layout what is going to happen is trading view will be opened on another screen on another tab essentially and once you open trading view on another tab the same layout will open but now you can change this layout and you can for example I go on the settings option uh, you can use the settings options to do whatever layout that you want I want uh, for example let's say I go on the appearance I want the background to be white and whatever that you're looking for I click on OK and maybe this is something I want to use it's not very appealing to me but maybe something uh, I want to use for another uh, maybe time of the day exact I, I, I hope you're getting the idea of what I'm trying to say and then what you can do is you can save this layout um, just give me a second so what then you can do is you can save this layout yeah right sorry my screen had hung for a second so I, I just saved this layout and now you can rename this layout and let's say um, boring settings for example just to make you guys laugh and now what happens is I can switch between layouts depending on what I want to do if I want to go to the personal layout go to the load chart settings click on my personal layout and my personal layout will open you can see that black settings that I was looking for but if I'm not comfortable with this layout you can just search you know my the boring layout and this layout will open I hope you're getting the idea of what I'm trying to establish here I'm not going to spend too much time here because I feel that's it's not so important but something out there that you can use uh, for your analysis so I'll be sticking to my personal layout I feel that's very comfortable you can go on the chart properties uh, a lot of people ask me how can I go to the default settings you know if I have if you've done a lot of changes on the charts it's very simple you can just go on this options in the settings and click on apply defaults so whatever default setting was on trading view will be applied to your charts so you can do a lot of settings out there I'm not gonna go in detail about this you can change the color of your candles you can you can just you know see what these lines actually mean and accordingly you can uh, you know go on the charts and make the settings different so that's from the settings tab so for I'll just give you one quick option for example I don't like grid lines right uh, there was an option to hide grid lines I have no idea where it is right now I think I've already hidden it but uh, let me have a look where I can change the grid line so this is what I call the grid lines you can see on the screen there are checks so out there so I think it's hidden already but uh, so basically you can change these settings from the screen navigate and see where you are I don't know how this has come on the screen it was not there before but let's move on you can click on this option for maximizing screen uh, once you click on that the screen is going to be maximized click on escape the screen will go back to normal if you want to save a particular chart or send it out to your friends or mentors or whatever take a snapshot once you click on the snapshot button whatever settings you've done you can either save the image or you can save the URL of the settings that you have done and that that's that's the entire top bar that I've explained let me come to the sidebar that's relatively easier and much more interesting to be honest so the first option is for the crosshair you can you can you know choose whatever you want whether you want a crosshair or you want an arrow so on if you do an arrow the arrow option will be selected then you have the trend line options the second option is for so I, I'll just go back to the crosshair selection the second option is for your trend lines the area of value so you can draw trend lines from here or you can draw whatever that you're looking for horizontal rays or parallel channels so etc etc everything all these settings will be coming from the second option one very important thing one hack that I want to add here right now is so when you're looking with these settings so let's say I've made a lot of you know channels uh, I made this channel right here then maybe I've made some kind of trend angle I don't know what this is so let's say I made these settings 
and now I want to delete this setting. I, I don't want to go with this setting. So currently what we were doing is you used to click on this setting and then press delete. But there's a simple hack to it. Instead of going clicking on this setting and pressing delete, control Z works in trading view. If you're in MacBook, command plus Z will work. So what you can do is just press control Z and you can see that option will go. If you don't want this, again press command Z, control Z, the option will go. So that's a very good hack that I like on trading view. Press command Z and things will keep on going. Uh, another thing is that if I have drawn a trend line, let's say I've drawn this trend line, I can change the color, I can change the width from this option. I like the second area of width. You can change the color, whatever color that you're looking for. If you don't like that, press control Z things will be going back to the original settings. So that's your control Z hack. The third option out there is for your other tools. So pitchforks quite important, it'll, it'll be found here. A GAN is here, your Fibonacci retracements are here. So the, all these things I will be doing segments on them later, but I'm just trying to tell you where, where will you find these things. So I think in this option, pitchforks, GAN, Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci extensions, these are quite important. Uh, so you'll find them here. Then on the fourth option, you will find the brush icon. You can, you know, mark things. If I want to maybe write something on the screen, you can mark here. If you don't like it, press control Z. Also, you've, you've seen me drawing the horizontal zones. You can do it with the rectangle. Again, you can change the color by just clicking on the rectangle and changing the color. If you don't like it, press control Z. All these things will go off the screen. So that's for your uh, drawing tools. The next option is for your text. You can click on that, whatever text that you want. Let's say I write uh, nifty analysis, press enter, things will pop up. If you don't like it, press control Z. Things will be going back. I hope that makes sense, right? Then the next option is for your uh, cipher patterns, harmonic patterns, whatever you call them. Uh, probably like the cipher pattern. You might be, might be looking for the Elliott waves. Quite important, quite uh, frequently used by advanced technical analysts. So that's going to be found here. Triangles, ABCDs, uh, everything is going to be found here. Then coming back to this uh, sixth, uh, yeah, seventh option. This is very important for me. I've been using that a lot in my videos. Let me explain this a little bit. So let's say I've drawn this trend line, uh, support, dynamic support trend line, and I see a break down here. So I can use this option right here to establish my short position on the charts. So I click on short, and if I wanna go short at this point, so this will exactly help me to define what's the stop loss, what's the target. So maybe I want a stop loss just above the high. Maybe I want a target, whatever that you want. I'm not giving you a way to set target a stop loss, but basically this will tell you exactly what's the stop loss like, what's the target like, and applies both for your long as well as short settings. Again, this I feel is also quite important, your price range. Uh, for example, if you have drawn, if you see a flag on the screen. So let me go back to the charts of Rallis India probably to explain this concept much more clearer. You can see a double top is being formed on Dallas India. What you can do is you can use this price range to find out what's the height of this double top. So let's say you can you can see probably from this area to this area, the height's around 24 rupees. So you can, you know, then look at if this low point is broken, that Rallis India will fall around 24 rupees. So that's again a very useful measure uh, of uh, analyzing things. Again, totally depends whether you like it or not, but you should know what these things are as you might be needing to use them in the near future. Then we come to the icons. You can select whatever icons you have you want. You've seen me using the arrows to point out some things for, uh, for you guys. So that's the arrow option. Then you have the scale, the measure option. This tells you, for example, I can see a big rally here. I wanna see in how many candles this rally has been done. So I can just use this area and it'll tell me that this entire rally was done in seven bars or seven candles. So that's one use that uh, of your measure. There are multiple uses of it, but uh, so this also helps you to define, you know, you, how, much, uh, how much consolidation has been happening. So all these things can be defined with this measure bar. Then you have the zoom option over here. Uh, let's go on a different uh, settings. 
let's go on my holdings watch list uh, i have the charts of let's say procter and gamble so i want to zoom in this area right let's say i want to zoom in this consolidated range right here i'll mark this with a with a brush and what i'll do is what you have to do is if you want to go zoom into this just click on the zoom option select this and that entire thing will be zoomed if you don't find this very comfortable you can also click on auto scale this is also quite useful and you click on auto scale things will automatically scale as per the default settings in the system and you can just click on zoom out and things will go back to the normal settings For last couple of settings left we have the magnet i don't use it i find it very heavily annoying what happens is with the magnet you you are actually going to be snapped to the closest open high and low close what that means is you won't be able to freely move on the screen so you can see when i move across the bar it is quite rigid and that's what the magnet does it will stick to your closest settings if i remove this magnet now you can see i can freely move on the screen so i like freedom on my screen again maybe some people do like magnet and maybe that's why it is out there if you want to stick to the levels so it's totally up to you then we have the stain drawing mode if you click on that you know stain drawing mode you can just click keep on drawing exact time you will stay on the drawing mode and finally you have this locking all drawing tools again really really important i'll show you this with something i'm practically doing right now so i've been analyzing the charts of siemens great buy we did a couple of sessions back so i have a 4 hour i have drawn all my levels on siemens so now if i want to analyze the charts right i this this is very uncomfortable i have drawn my levels but i am not able to freely look at my charts so what you can do is you can click on uh, hide all drawing tools so when you click on hide all drawing tools the drawing tools the level that you have drawn will not be deleted but they are just temporarily going to be hide themselves that's all so you can analyze the chart and when you want these tools back just click on the screen again and the drawing lines will come so this is very useful if you want to analyze your screen without deleting your levels hide all uh, and then finally this uh, lock all drawing tool again very important so if you have a lot of settings on the screen what happens is that you know when you are navigating on the chart maybe you you know draw something by mistake or let's say you maybe move this level by mistake which is quite possible so in such a case what you can do is you can click on lock all drawing tools with this what will happen is now you will not be able to move these and you can freely do whatever you want on the screen without you know having to worry about these levels moving that's again very important if you have defined uh, important levels on your charts hope that makes sense finally you have the delete option so let's go to a random chart i don't want to delete these levels so if i have made some kind of random settings on the charts i can click on delete and the entire the trash can option and the entire uh, things will be deleted on the screen also you can hide the individual indicators if you didn't know that if i have a couple of moving averages or volume on the screen you can hide any one of them you can suppress individual indicators by instead of deleting them clicking on the i arrow you can also change the colors etc by going into the settings option you can change whatever settings that you want of your indicators so that's the basic idea of what trading view is all about just a couple of tips tricks and hacks out there uh, if i have not already discussed them uh, i think watch list is something very important in trading view this is the main advantage i think for me for the paid version because i can make multiple watch lists you know i i click on the watch list option i can create a new list so for example i have a list on build ups and power moves i have a list on breakouts i have a list on holdings support you know stocks at support technology stocks watch lists the stocks i'm generally watching out so you can make multiple watch list and it really helps you to just navigate fast click on the stock and just keep on changing rather than having you to click all the way back to the screen and changing the stock in this way you can just click on a new stock and change the and toggle to a different stock basically so that's what watch list really helps you to do also what you can do is you can mark uh, you can put a bookmark on these stocks in your watch list so for example i like this company voltas uh, it has it was it was in the focus on friday it posted results so i wanted to trade on voltas so what i have done is 
I have put a bookmark. Bookmark, you can just click on the, the left option here. You can then change the color, whatever you want. So this, what happens with this is it helps you to pay more attention when you're looking at your watch list. So all the other stocks have equal weightage, but when I look at the, the bookmarked stocks, I immediately pay attention and see what's happening and whether they have changed significantly. So that's another advantage. Uh, I think I've already made the alerts clear. You can go to this alert section and look at the alerts that you have set. Another really good uh, exam, uh, use for trading view is your, uh, you can, by the way, you can squeeze in and squeeze out of the screen. So a lot of people don't know that. Uh, surprisingly, you can squeeze in, squeeze out. You can also, you know, change the squeeze from the lower bar. So it totally depends. You can also zoom in and zoom out. So you can do all of that in trading view and actually most of the charting platforms out there. And finally, you can, what you can do is, uh, I think I've already talked about the auto scale option. So if you're on the four hour chart, something like that, you click on the auto option and things will be auto scaled depending upon the default settings. Finally, we have the stock screener. I think that's quite important. Uh, these three, four options are quite important. Paper trading is for you if you want to trade uh, without putting your money in and just testing out the strategies. That's paper trading. Uh, you can have pine editor if you want to put in your formula, source code, etc. Make your own strategies, make your own indicators. So that's the option that you want to look for. Text notes are again very important. So for example, as I said, I, ha I see a inverted head and shoulders on Rallis. So I've made a note in my text note option. So I can just click on Rallis and I'll see what I'm talking about, head and shoulders. And finally, the most important, I think, is a stock screener. This is quite important, to be honest. Uh, I, I would say this is the most underused option. I don't know if you use it yet or no. But the stock screener really helps you to screen uh, a lot of stocks. What I mean by that is that you can filter stocks depending upon how you want them. Click on the filter option. Uh, let's look at the basic ones. So you can see what the ratings are. You can see what the change, change percent has been on the day. And the, what's the volume been today, the market cap, price earning, earning per share, etc. That's the basic things. But what I'm looking for is filtering the stocks. Um, there are tons of ways that you can filter. There are innumerable, innumerate ways that you can filter these stocks. Fundamentals, there are hundreds of them. Price earnings, quick ratio, you want the earnings current asset, total debt, etc. Uh, technicals, whether you want a new one month high, you want 52 week low, you want a, a particular beta, one year beta to be at a particular level, you want uh, ADX to be at some level, maybe of 30, maybe below 30. So you can click on ADX above 30. And what this will do is all the stocks that are trading above 30 ADX, which shows heavy, you know, a directional strength, they will pop up but I don't want that right now. Also, the, the reason I use this is I'll, uh, I go on the all the option and I think I go on the description, sorry. I go on the descriptive option and you can, by the way, you can select the market cap that you're looking for in a company. Also, the most important is volume. You heard me talk a lot about volume and this is the most important setting that you can change. So let's say I want the stock to be trading at a minimum 100,000 share volume. I can just change the volume and my settings will change. So you can see 161 matches. If I go on the default settings, the, the stocks will change 586 settings. So it totally depends upon you. Also, by the way, you can do a pre-market volume analysis. So um, if I'm not sure, yeah, post-market volume and a pre-market volume. So this also is very helpful if you want a particular pre-market volume, maybe as I said, 50,000 minimum shares traded pre-market, you can click on that and the stocks will be filtered depending upon that. So this is your fundamental and technical analysis screener that you can use to your benefit. So that's all for now. I hope you have found this uh, video informative. This is, this is not a paid sponsorship with TradingView or anything, but just a requested video by all of you because a lot of people have been asking me to upload a video so that so as to explain the different tools and hacks out there for trading view. So I hope you found this helpful. So if you did like it, make sure you click on that thumbs up, you subscribe to our channel and comment what you are personally using and any other settings that you like about this. So I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.